Okay, let's get started. I don't know why I always try to start with Oh, any makeup, any moisturizer, any brows, because I always don't show it. I'm gonna skip through it because I feel like everybody can do the eyebrows how they want. And I'm just gonna put on some moisturizer, and that's about it. So I'm gonna do that, then come back, and then show you. At least my, my eyebrows are half cousins at this point. But um, I wanted to do a makeup look that was kind of Christmassy, like brown green with like a red lip. But I don't really have that many greens in my collection, so it's gonna be a lot of back and forth playing. Um, it may end up being a tutorial, like a voiceover again. I'm not sure if you guys like voiceovers or not. I just do what I think works best at the time, so I might be going in and out of voiceovers, especially for the eye look. Okay, my eyes, I'm gonna prime my eyes with some Makeup Revolution concealer. Yeah, so right now you guys are seeing me going into my Carity Professional Smoke Palette, and I just picked up the shade Unspoken, which is a brown shade and i'm gonna use that in my crease on a dense blending brush this palette is three years old and still giving me pigment and the mattes blend out great the shimmers are kind of dry now but yeah i want to do one of these if you want to get me a christmas gift a new carry smoky palette would be nice just look at it thank you but i don't want to keep using this because i use this palette all the time on my channel i want to give you guys something different that you can actually use I might try like a cut crease. I've never done a cut crease before, but I feel like I don't do anything new on my channel. But my hands are not, I'm a beginner and my hands aren't precise. Like I can't do the, I'm, I said this is gonna be a voiceover and it's not a voiceover. I'm going to the shade Spicy again. A Lysa blending brush from Arrows Beauty. So I'm just walking that shade Spicy directly into my crease, avoiding passing the outer parts of the brown shade. I want to be a bit more red up in there so I'm going to take this shade Flamingo on this same brush actually and then see if that makes it any more red and just so you know the palette I'm using now is a Carity Professional Picante palette so I'm going to take the shade Bobby and just put that in the crease not in the crease but like the outer pads up here I hope you guys can see I don't I don't I'm so sorry <sighs> That's why I really need for kids for a camera and studio lights, but I prefer to have groceries than a camera, so. Guys, oh my god, this is so hard. I don't know what kind of equipment you need to use to create a crease, but obviously I don't have it. All the, all the patients, it's not gonna happen to me with me today, I'm so sorry if you thought that really gonna happen. I don't know who more fully you or me, cause I obviously don't know who I think it is. That was not. Why don't I have any green shadows? Like green, green shadows. Like so y'all just see me here with this green shadow. That is a shade Royal, which is right next to the back that I'm pointing to. Um, I put that down on my eye and then I'm going to put the shade Inspo in the outer corner to just stack it up that area. And after building up the black shade, I'm just going to just blend it out a bit. And then to really mesh up green and the black together, I'm going to take the shade Boss and then blend them together. And after I blended on the crease, I felt like I kind of lost some of Royal, so I'm just going to put a bit more of the dark green shade on the lid. And now I'm taking my L'Oreal Healthy Luminous Makeup in the shade Soft Sable and blending that out with a buffing brush. And I'm using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Cool Tan, and I'm putting that in the regular place that I will highlight forehead, chain, mustache, under eye, you know, the usual areas. And I'm blending that out with a damp beauty sponge. I honestly really miss using this concealer. I don't know why I stopped using it, to be honest. It's so good. But I'm taking the classic Sasha Buttercup powder under my eye, applying that with the same sponge that I used to blend out my concealer. And then I'm going to take that and dust it off right away. And now it's time to get that bronze. I'm using the NYX Matte Powder Bronzer in the shade Deep. And I really don't know why I stopped using this thing. Like, I actually really love the color of this bronzer on my skin tone right now. Ooh, what? I love that color. For, um, guys, what? I kind of want to put, like, a color to the bottom. So I'm going to put the color Work. It's, like, a maroonish color. So I'm going to put the shade Girl Crush on top of it. Just because I feel like I want something to stand out a bit more there. Yes. Yeah. I love the shade Gold Crush in this palette. Put the shade Serve and clean up the brow bone. So 
So this is a glamour pair that I tried out last time. This isn't my favorite pair of lashes because they are a bit short. But um, I guess because it looks so dark, you probably wouldn't really notice anyway. What you gonna do? Okay. So yeah, that's what that's what's happening right now. This is so dramatic. <laughs> so dramatic. Like, why you have to do all this case? And I realized I never said what blush I was using. This is the Essence blush from my first impressions in the shade Tear Me Up number 60, the Essence Matte Blush. Um, we're gonna do a highlighter now. Highlighter's gonna be an issue because I don't have any like really glowing gold Christmassy highlight. This is like a really deep highlight here, but I feel like it might look best. So that should be fine. That, I think that, is that the face finish? I think that's the face finish. And for lips, I wanted something very dark. So I'm gonna start with a dark brown lip liner from She Cosmetics. Fill that in with Tick Tick Boo from Carity and then Rockstar in the middle for a semi-gradient and I'm back on the outside with a dark brown lip pencil. I don't know how we got here. I was just saying, let's do something as simple green and red or something cute, but we, we got to this. So yeah, guys, this is the end. Pull my hair up in a ponytail. Kind of got some kind of something going on here, but guys, it just screams Christmas to me and that's what I like. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Y'all know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, you guys have been watching Karis Marie TV. Until next time.